Hey folks, you want to change your tires on a Mercedes-Benz B250 or any other Mercedes? Um, here's a few instructions. Uh, unfortunately, most newer Mercedes now come with absolutely no tools and not even a spare tire. Reason for that is because they sell you these uh, run flats and if you get a flat on this you can drive it for about 50 to 80 kilometers so there is no jack nothing so I highly recommend if you're getting a, one of these cars um, start buying some equipment you could buy a, a spare Mercedes tire or what I do is when I put my winter tires on which are not uh, run flats um, I carry one summer tire in the trunk so yes, now I have less space in the trunk, but what do you want? I haven't bought a spare tire yet. And I also uh, bought a, a jack, which works well for this car. So um, yeah, buy those few equipment. And then uh, wear some safety equipment, gloves, uh, goggles, and start working on your car. Make sure the car is on a flat surface, number one. Number two, uh, make sure that you can jack the car safely. So the ground should be um, hard. Uh, gravel, asphalt, cement, definitely not grass or mud. If it is grass or mud, then get a plank of wood and put it underneath and put your jack on it. And uh, that should spread the, the weight. So before, before um, jacking it, loosen your tire. So buy one of these uh, long arm uh, uh, wrench. And then uh, you're gonna need a socket that's uh, 17 uh, millimeter. It's uh, 17 metric. And always carry this in your car so that if you need to change your tire, you're not stuck. So counter clockwise to loosen clockwise tighten. So just a few small shots. So if you do this every year yourself, and the mechanic doesn't do it, um, it's going to be much easier to loosen the bolts because they lose too much force uh, and you want to follow the recommendation of the manufacturer how much torque to apply. So right now I just loosened it, now time to jack the car. So go underneath the car, you're gonna see a spot where to put it to protect the body of the car. And make sure your car's hand brakes are on. Now the car is tired up and then we can continue removing the bolts. And I highly recommend doing this at home uh, on a nice quiet day and uh, this will 
give you experience so if you're ever stuck on the side of the road you can take care of yourself.